Today's video is about streaming 360 degrees with the Insta360 cameras, specifically the One R, One RS and One X2. I have no experience with the other cameras as I don't have them, um, but if they use the Insta360 app, everything should pretty much be the same. The other problem that many people are facing is, well, you can stream on Facebook, no problem. Setting it up for YouTube, if you don't have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the last year, um, then you can't use the automatic YouTube functionality to stream to YouTube and you will get an error message. So what I'll show today is how you get around that and how you get a 360 stream set up on YouTube, even though you're not monetized. So what we do is we'll go into and we say create go live. Now, if you haven't done this before, then you might be presented with that you need to verify first. So you verify your phone number and then you have to wait for 24 hours. Um, that's whatever what that is. But um, I have obviously done all of that. And I have created a test, a test stream here. And the important thing is uh, here, enable DVR. Uh, what that means is that people can scroll forth and back in your live stream. So if they arrived later, they can actually go back and see what happened. Um, and also uh, what I tend to do is I unlist live replay once the stream ends. So my recording of the stream will be an unlisted video. And, and I, ca I can then decide myself if I want to publish it or if I want to put it in a playlist or if I just don't want to, want to do something else with it. The important thing here is to tick the 360 video. Okay. So the next thing then is to uh, uh, go on the mobile phone um, and uh, obviously you have turned your camera on um, and on my mobile phone start the Insta360 app. Okay, we then go in and we'll connect to the camera. Great, so that's done. And then I basically go and I click on the camera item. Okay, you can see me here. <laughs> and we'll go over to live, right? And at the moment it has Facebook selected. Facebook obviously works, no problem there. I actually go here and reframe that. So a little cheeky insert here, as I forgot to show this earlier. If you want to change the resolution on your uh, live stream what you need to do is you tap here in the top and it's often overlooked you can see here you can select 720p 960p 1080p and 1280p these are for the 360 resolutions so 1280p is the best resolution there is um, uh, if you have the bandwidth absolutely that would be what i would be picking um, so let's get uh, get on with it okay Okay, so what, what I do is I go in and I select RTMP. Okay, and what I need now, uh, first, the, first the URL. So the URL is RTMP colon forward slash forward slash a dot RTMP dot YouTube dot com forward slash live two. So, and the next thing then is what you need to add uh, is the stream ID, which has disappeared. Okay. So if we, why? So let me just confirm this. Yeah, that's okay. Right, so that's basically it. I have created this as an unlisted stream so that I get this can test and um, we'll go and we say done. And then we say start live. Okay. And we'll hit and the stream has started. And as you can see on the screen, so I'll disable the phone now.
So and just you can see, um, I've disabled the audio here, obviously. Um, and uh, we are on maximum quality. That's great. Um, and you can see that works as a 360 stream now, fully live. Um, very nice. So um, that should get you going. Um, the issue is now if you want to connect to a Wi-Fi network or you want to connect to a private network to maybe use an OBS instance, like an open broadcaster studio uh, instance, instead of going directly to YouTube, things like that. Um, that's not necessarily straightforward because the Wi-Fi of the phone obviously is occupied by the Insta360 already communicating with the phone and it's using the phone's 4G or 5G then to connect to the internet. So the solution for that is the Android link cable. That can be got from Insta360. I have a link in the description below um, where you can find it. Unfortunately, there is no solution for iOS. But with the, the Insta, uh, with the Android link cable, what you can do is you take your, your Insta360 camera, you plug the one of the connectors in here, the one that's labeled camera, and you plug the other one into your phone, and voila. Now, um, the camera is communicating with the phone via the U USB cable instead. And that means your Wi-Fi is now free and you can connect to a Wi-Fi network and use a local LAN instead of uh, connecting to the internet via your 4G subscription. Um, I hope this helps. If it did, please leave us a like down below. Maybe subscribe to the channel. And um, I'll see you in another one. Bye.